Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I'm really hoping this video works because this is the second time I've tried to film this. The first time, for some reason, it just suddenly cut me off and it lost the footage. So uh, I'm here to do an unboxing, slight unboxing, because I've already unwrapped half of it when it cut off, of the Onion Skin Journal. I wanted to treat myself to a really nice journal and I was vaguely aware of this journal existing out in the world and then somebody had messaged me, you know who you are, and asked me if I had ever used it. And I said no, but now I'm really wanting it because I felt like it was a sign like, hey, you know it exists, you should get it because you've kind of had your eye on this journal for a while, but I really wasn't in need of a new notebook. But I felt justified because I have used up a good portion of my notebooks if you followed me for a while. So I feel like uh, this is well deserved. This is my prize for having gone through my huge stash of notebooks on reserve. The Onion Skin Journal. It's a notebook that's hand sewn, made in America. And it's got this beautiful translucent paper. And I ordered it, I think like on a Friday or something, and it shipped, it took days to get to me. It was incredibly fast. So uh, it came safely packaged in a bubble mailer. It did have the string tied around it, but unfortunately the video cut me off on it. But it was uh, tied up with string with brown paper packaging, which is like my favorite way of wrapping things. And um, let's get right into it. So it comes with this little sticker and just wrapped around the beautiful journal. I got the blue cover. And it's got that snake emblem on it with a gray ribbon. It's actually coming off a lot brighter on camera. It's actually a little bit more muted in person. So the reason why I got the blue cover was because it reminded me of a beautiful old vintage book. And this is gonna look beautiful on my bookshelf once I'm done with the journal. It'll just look beautiful next to all my other like old books. But it's got that old world feel, linen cover, absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look really big, but thing is, is the paper is so thin that there's, um, I can't remember how many pages are in here. Um, I can link all the information down below their website where you can get this journal. Um, but inside there's a little bookmark. It looks like there's just information about the company, about the paper itself. It's uh, prized by calligraphers, writers, and poets. It's a translucent, lightweight quality paper and ink is supposed to uh, work really well on this paper. And uh, Smith's own. And there's our social media information listed down below. And it looks like they include a line guide, which is great. So they've got the dotted side on one and the lined with the margin side on the other. So if you followed me for a while, you know I have the same sort of um, situation with my own traveler's notebook. I cut out graph paper. I've been doing that for so many years. Um, I cut it to size to my traveler's notebook and I stick it behind my 013 insert paper, which is the Tomoe River paper, and I use that as a guide. This is the much prettier version of that, and it's basically the same idea, so that way you can write straight on it. And it's got this kind of cream colored paper in the front and then this lovely crinkly onion paper. Now, if you are a longtime follower of me, you know that I have in the past made uh, vellum inserts with vellum paper. I've made Traveler's Notebook inserts with uh, trace paper because I absolutely love writing on translucent paper. And once again, this is the nicer version of that. They have done a beautiful job of, of making this into a notebook. 
and uh, like my December dailies. My December dailies are all in trace paper and I absolutely love that crinkliness. And when you start working on paper like this, where it takes the ink and it maybe slightly buckles, if you use watercolor on it, if you start collaging and gluing things on it, this kind of translucent paper, because it's so thin, reacts to it in such a way that when you start building up pages and you look back through those old pages that you've you've worked on, it kind of adds to that element, that kind of textural ambiance, if that makes sense. This is a beautiful journal. I cannot stress enough how lovely this is and I am so excited to start using this. So I'm sticking the guide behind the paper to see what that looks like. So that's how translucent it is. This is very, very clear. It doesn't, you know, there's no opaqueness to this. This is gonna be great to work on. I'll be curious to see how this takes fountain pen, how it's gonna react to watercolor. And this is gonna be great. I am so excited. I'm going to finish my current journal in a few days. So this is going to be my next journal. And I am very, very excited. I think I will show you how it works out. Maybe I'll do kind of like a little review of some pages that I did. Um, but it's lovely. And I can't wait to see how this fills up. Um, there is a bit of planning when you journal in translucent paper because one side is going to be filled with words or something. I tend to do kind of like a collage on one side, journal, and I just kind of alternate between the two so that way you're not almost like wasting one side of the page if you just have writing on it. Um, I personally wouldn't want to do that. I like to just utilize as much space as I can because I tend to be more of a writer than a decorator in my journals. Um, and so maybe I will show you some examples later on in a separate video to, sh to see how I work around this kind of translucentness because um, there is a little bit of planning that you have to do. And uh, I am... I'm very excited. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did pay this uh, myself. This is all my own money. I just wanted to treat myself. This wasn't sent to me for any review. I just wanted to share with you um, my thoughts so far. And uh, I was already biased. I already thought that this was going to be a beautiful journal. And I have a feeling it's just going to be such a fun notebook to work in. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Let me know if you've gotten one and how you feel about using it. It's, uh, it's a very lovely thing to get for yourself or as a gift to a journaler in your life. It's not an inexpensive notebook, I will say that. This was definitely a treat for myself. Um, this is by far probably the, the priciest notebook that I've gotten myself that I can think of. Um, so this is definitely a uh, a lovely little thing to put into your life, a beautiful thing to, to give yourself if you're looking for that. Um, and I know Mother's Day is coming up too, so uh, this would definitely be a beautiful gift to give somebody who is a journaler. So I just wanted to put that out there. All right, I am going to probably get this set up soon and move in soon because <laughs> I'm excited. And uh, I hope you are all doing well. Happy journaling.